It all starts with a case, a mount, a phone, and a bike. Well, actually it all started when I saw an ad on the internet. Hey there, it's Grant with Elru Bike, and I'm a bit of a sucker for gadgets that promise to help me reduce the amount of crap I either have to carry in my backpack, a hip pack, or whatever when I'm biking. So when I saw an ad for this amazing bike mount that you can attach your phone to, you can ride with it, you can look at your maps, you could even flip up the phone and take video and pictures while you're riding, let you pick up the bike, shake it around, and it's absolutely fantastically secure. I had to give it a try. So that's what we're gonna get into today. Okay, so the brand that makes this product is called Peak Design. Um, they specialize in all sorts of gadgets and gizmos that help you keep your beer, keep your beer, <laughs> that help you keep your gear accessible while you're out doing stuff. And this happens to be their phone mounting solution. They've got all sorts of different ones for bikes, motorcycles, and that sort of thing. This one's for the bike, obviously. You've got a phone case and you've got the bike mount. So let's jump into it. Okay, so where can you buy this thing? So the ad I originally saw that brought this to my attention took me to their website. I checked it out. They've got all sorts of pieces and, and parts. They've even got this builder, you know, what are your intentions? What are you wanting to do with this mount? and it shows you all the different options with it. So what I did was I opened up Amazon, I found their storefront there, and I saw that they were selling this product through their Amazon store. So I bought it there instead, and it was kind of expensive for these things. So the bike mount itself is 69 something, almost 70 bucks, and the phone case that you need with it is another 40 bucks. So that's not cheap. All right, let's tear open these things and see what's inside. Okay, so while I'm unboxing this, a couple of points they really wanted to sell you on was the fact that this case is mag safe. It's durable. It's made out of waterproof canvas. Um, and they kept using the verbiage magic link on their website and also that it was flawless. So those are big claims. Ooh, it's quite good looking. Okay. That's actually really nice. So it's got those rubber bumpers just like it, it, any other phone case does. The color's cool. I like that kind of, um, I think they call it like a heathered, like a sweatshirt sort of a color gray. It's got these shiny bits around the thingy. Um, other than that, quite honestly, it looks like any other case you can buy. So um, now this beast. More bits and bobs. Ooh, that is nice. It's definitely aluminum. Um, I don't see a rubber sort of a cushion. I have carbon bars. I hate putting anything not with a rubber sleeve on it on my bars. Hopefully, oh, Allen key, that's nice. Oh, here's the adapters. Okay, those are hard plastic, not rubber. One thing I should say, I after I ordered it and I was doing a little bit of research for this, I noticed it said it was not designed for tapered handlebars. I have tapered handlebars. We'll see how this is going to mount up. There's an awful lot of hardware here. Oh, okay. So you've got a mount. Wow, this is messy. Sorry. You've got a mount. Several clips, I'm guessing. One, two, three, oh, okay, that makes, maybe they're different, okay. So you've got different diameter thicknesses depending on your handlebar. You've got thin ones, thick ones, and you've got kind of that GoPro style swivel mount. Although I don't immediately get this. Okay, let's get this on the bike, see how it works. I'm dying to see if I can pick up my bike like they claim. It's a good thing I ate my Wheaties this morning. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So they say it wasn't designed for a, taper hand, a tapered handlebar. Um, it's obviously works for a round brake caliper, a round bell clamp. So I think if we can get to the part where it's not tapered, it should work. Let me go grab the gadgets. Good evening, sir. Your gadgets are served. Okay, so here are the, the parts. We're gonna find the right one. And I think I found a solution so I don't scuff up my handlebar. So 
I found this exercise band. It's made, I don't have any electrical tape, that would have been ideal, but this is made out of, you know, rubber. It's one of those stretchy exercise bands. So I'm gonna wrap this around the handlebar and then put the mount on top of it. And hopefully that'll do two things. It'll kind of hold it in place from moving around because this is slick and there's no uh, rubberized internals there. So I think the combo of that, that it'll protect the bars and it'll help keep it mounted tightly as well. So, so yeah, on the advertisement I saw the lady, she grabbed her bike right there by the thingy and she lifted it up. Maybe it was a road bike. I don't know. This isn't a heavy mountain bike, like at all. We're gonna give it a shot here. Oh, oh I heard the I heard the case crack. <laughs> Can you imagine if your phone was in there? <laughs> Let's now I don't know how to get it out. Oh, there's our buttons. Oh, so the release are the buttons. Let me show you. Right there. Squeezy, squeezy. How do I do this? Okay. Jeez, oh, I'm terrible at this. Come on closer. Come on closer. Okay. And bam. And then, okay. Now, whatever. Let's go take it for a ride. Okay, here we go. Let's get this ride going. This is location number two because they were having a race. Oops. All right. So we've got this way. Okay, so we are at the Bear Claw, whatever. Uh, well, there goes the thing, Mike. Okay. I just want to see, show you. I'm going uphill, technically. Um, see how much this thing moves. Uh, I can hear it rattling. I just don't think it's that secure. Um, wowza. Let's do this. Before we get too far in, let's test the footage here. Okay, so you may be able to see the screen. Let's see how it does. This is a pretty smooth trail. Uh, from my angle, that thing is shaking like crazy. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it go. Looks like it's scared. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this isn't the course I was going to run, but sure is pretty. The original one they were having some race at. And if it other now, I'm holding the mount now. Does it improve? Like this is pretty much a flat dirt road. Oh, that's not. Um, does that improve the footage? Hold on. Oh. As you can see, we're gonna test, like, is this even a viable thing here for this camera? I've got it on wide. This is not the 14 with the stabilization on it. This is the iPhone 12. Um, okay, okay, quit your jabbing, let's go. Ah, 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 ah,
so you may notice this gigantic thing in the corner of the screen uh that's the gopro so boop boop that's the gopro there's a gopro mount in the front this will give us a side by side like which one which camera is better they're both mounted on the same thing oh. all right let's do it what gear am i in all right here we go Okay, now, aside from a camera, which it may not be great at, what other things are could this be good for? Okay, technically, maybe you could get rid of your bike computer. Uh, the screen is super hard to see, like, from my vantage, I can't see it. So, we're gonna stop. Now we could, let me point out of the sun. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so what if instead of pigs, you wanted to see your Strava? You know what I mean? Like, what if you wanted to see that? uh i don't know let's see is it all that useful so i got this here i got this here i feel like a cabbie holy moly uh, oh wrong gear <laughs> oh jeez. um yeah okay so from where i currently am I can't quite see the screen. It is shaking. And um, hold on, I have an idea. Let me get to the top. So, um, I think a battery would wear out. Um, Yeah, you could do routes. Um, oh, there's the entrail. Tomorrow's ride. Okay, so update, six something miles in. We're halfway, I'm ready to head back. Supposedly that was the uphill. Out here in the desert, you climb a thousand feet over six miles. Uh, but how could you beat this view? Come on, give me a break. Oh, how's the other side? Uh, super gorgeous. Where am I? Well, according to this sign over here, I don't know. Sign's rubbed off. Oh, Bear Claw Poppy Trail. Holy crap, Bear Claw, you're beautiful. Anyway, we're still talking about this guy. The Peak Design, how is it held up? Well, the phone hasn't fallen off uh, right now. This hasn't come untightened. This is the knob that allows you to turn it, supposedly. You can see I've kind of got it rigged here. Um, they didn't make it for the fatty, and I don't want it rubbing on my carbon. So, um, this knob allows you to turn it up and down. You can go landscape with it. I probably already showed you that. Um, Bamo. You could probably run your maps. You could run your Stravas. Uh, all kinds of different stuff. I do have a computer for that, but if you don't, or if you just want your phone out of your backpack and you're not lucky enough to have a jersey with a pocket in the back to stash your phone, well, uh, you can put it in a bag. It's kind of crammed with stuff. Or you can put it on your handlebars. Oh, more difficult. Hello? Okay, so we're back inside and I've been working on the rough cut for this video and I've had a minute to put together my thoughts and kind of reflect back on my experience with the uh, Peak Design phone mount case and the, the mount. So 
Um, on the pro side, we'll start with that. So on the pro side, this is an extremely well-built piece of equipment. You've got tons of adjustability from them adding in a thumb screw here that allows you to loosen and tighten it on the handlebars to change the position of the, of the phone. Uh, I'm gonna probably call it a camera versus a phone because to me, um, this is mostly a camera when I'm riding. So at any rate, so they've added a ton of functionality pieces to it on top of the high build quality. You know, things like a GoPro mount, super thoughtful. Um, things like a thumb screw here and or a standard Allen bolt, I guess it is, to either lock it into place or allow you to loosen it and tighten it to change the angle of your phone on the handlebars. Under heavy riding, I was worried about the mount slipping with this thumb screw. It didn't at all. Uh, Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take it on any crazy, really aggressive downhill trails, but um, you know, I gave it a pretty good run for its money and it stayed in place. So to its credit, super high quality construction. It's super well built. Um, you know, the magnetic lock, which functions with the back of the phone case here, it does just snap in that easy. Um, it was a little awkward to figure out, you know, do you push the buttons? Do you pull it off? But once you get it, it's it's really not bad. So that's a big plus. You can quickly change the orientation of the phone. Another huge plus, this is a super high quality phone case. It looks slick on the phone. I love the low profile of it. One other cool thing is this little attachment point here allows you to put like a wallet, a tripod, you know, the, the bike mount is just one of the things. So as far as the case goes, super high quality, really, really like this, but we're talking about the whole system as a whole and whether I like it. We'll get back to that. Uh, a couple of areas for improvement, in my opinion, they made this obviously for a smaller diameter handlebar and, um, the fat part of my bars, this wouldn't allow it around. So it couldn't be close to the stem, which may potentially help with the handlebars looking less cluttered, which was my biggest complaint with this system. It left my handlebars looking like Best Buy. You know, you walk in and you see all these display things out there. That's not what I want my handlebars to look like. Um, I love a nice clean set of handlebars. This did not allow for that. Um, Another thing, um, I have carbon handlebars and I know this might sound like a weird complaint, but carbon is a kind of a slick plastic material. The inserts they put here to give you adjustability are also a slick plastic. Those two together just don't jive. Um, a, carbon scratches pretty easily and a hard piece of plastic against it with any sort of play, you're gonna get tons of scratching. So I had to kind of rig it a bit with a piece of soft rubbery like a exercise stretch band as you saw and I didn't love that so an improvement on their part could be to change out these inners that are hard plastic to a more like the GoPro one does and it's just that soft plastic a it'll keep it locked in place better and B it'll make sure you don't damage your nice handlebars so um, yeah that was that was another big concern also you know using this as a camera uh, it obviously doesn't work. I have the iPhone 12 and it does not have that fancy stabilization that the brand new 14 does. The footage was garbage. I couldn't use it anyway. It was so shaky. It was completely unwatchable. So having this as a camera on a mountain bike, even on the most smooth, basically fire road trail, it doesn't work at all. It may work if you have the new fancy iPhone 14 that has that stabilization in it. I haven't had the chance to try that yet, but on the 12, it doesn't work at all. So the GoPro mount on here is actually super cool, but it's kind of redundant because, you know, GoPro already makes a, a, a killer mount for the handlebars and it works really well. It has the same sort of a thumb screw thing and you can pivot it around and all sorts of things really easy. And it's like half the price of this thing. So if you're just looking for a GoPro mount, there are better solutions. So at the end of the day, there weren't enough pros to offset the major con of having an extremely cluttered handlebar 
for me to warrant putting this on here and using it. Um, I love the idea of getting stuff out of a backpack or a hip pack and putting it so it's A, easy, and B, just anything and everything that allows me to eliminate a backpack, I'm totally on board for. The pros of, or the pros of this just didn't justify that big gigantic thing on my handlebars, whether it's just this or whether it's this with the phone attached to it. I just wasn't willing to make that commitment. So again, for me, a tiny bag on the frame, great. You know, from Lucky, a jersey with a pocket in the back, great. Those are my ideal choices right now. And that's what I'll continue to pick for me to get the phone out of my bags and into a more easily accessible place. So I hope this was helpful. It's a great product. It just wasn't for me. So take care. Thanks. Bye.